is Paul Benson, the best old hammer miniature painter. Now, Paul Benson was prolific in the late 1980s, prolific in the world of miniature painting. Paul Benson painted some amazing miniatures in his time. He painted some wonderful dreadnoughts and some fantastic Eldar Guardians or other Eldar miniatures, just to name but a couple. Paul Benson also won some Golden Demon. Won some Golden Demon? Paul Benson also won some Golden Demons in his years as a miniature painter. He might even still be a miniature painter. Anyway, let's jump in and have a look at some of Paul Benson's older Old Hammer era miniature painting work. Paul Benson was a regular visitor to the Games Workshop studio with his exquisitely painted and colourful miniatures. In 1987, he won the single mounted figure category in Golden Demon. And in 1988, he took first prize in the category for single figure conversions. He also took second prize for his Warhammer 40,000 vignette. Thanks to the special attention lavished on the bases, Paul's models really seem to stand out from the crowd. And we're sure you'll be seeing a lot more of his work in the future. So firstly, Paul has painted an interesting character standing on top of a dreadnought. Sadly, I do not know the origin of the figure used in this conversion. Next up is a space orc with a very finely painted check pattern on one arm and a tiny freehand skull on the front of the plasma gun. He has also painted an Eldar and it appears at first glance that this Eldar has been painted with a dry brush method. A man in the stockade now who has received the wrath of many a villager. There's a few tomatoes and vegetables splashed around this poor gentleman. A cavorting marine now with a very interesting circular pattern on his armour. A harlequin of sorts up next with a lovely floral pattern painted up the chain blade. Another orc conversion now, and this time the orc almost looks like a harlequin. He appears to be carrying an early dreadnought's leg. Another interesting camouflage pattern on this space marine. It reminds me a little of something from Tron, or maybe the grid alien from Alien vs Predator. He had like a blood grid on his head where he got attacked by the predator with a net. A marine now who reminds me maybe of a world eater due to the fact that he has a bare arm. Is that intentional or has he lost his armour? An early orc command figure up next, sporting a lovely power claw and a plasma gun. A fan favourite orc dreadnought now and this one has had the extension pieces added to it, such as the rider or driver and the middle section with an extra pair of weapons. He's gone all out on the claws on this one and each claw appears to have a name. Nipper, Crusher, Pincher and Biter. He's also written Mind Your Head on the top hatch. A Mentor Legion Space Marine now with some lovely contrast on the white, especially on the legs there. I do like that freehand banner. Another Eldar Harlequin or Eldar Pirate up next with a very high contrast black and white striped look going on. Next up is a huge miniature. It's an Orc War Mammoth or War Elephant of sorts. The freehand on those shields is absolutely amazing. Another Eldar Warrior now with a blue mohawk. Interestingly enough, I do not recognize this weapon. It looks to be some sort of melter gun. Perhaps it's a fusion weapon? So when I'm painting my miniatures, when I want to mask areas off, I often use this Tamiyar masking tape. Some people call it Tamir, I call it Tamiyar. Um, I've spilt something on this, as you can see here. But if you look at the back on the clear side, 
there's an interesting little detail around the rim here and it says if you're enjoying this video then please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. That means you, Ben. If you are enjoying the content here on the channel then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below and up here. Yet another Eldar now with a very scary looking green face. And to top it off, he even has another little green face tied to his waist. One of the earliest Chaos Space Marine sculpts now, and this marine looks very gritty indeed. I do like the blood spatter effects going on here. One of the RTB01 plastic Space Marines here up next, and this one appears to have had some texture added to his armour giving him an almost Nurgle look, but he still has that Imperial logo on his shoulder plate there. Maybe he's turned to chaos. An interesting miniature up next, which I do not recognise, however, it does remind me of the evil character from the old Centurions cartoon TV series, 10 Internet Cookies, if you can remember his name. A very vibrant plastic space marine up next, who has been painted in a lot of different colours, giving him an almost ceramic look. He also has a wonderfully painted Eastern themed banner. Another Eldar miniature up next with another interesting camouflage style. These almost look like little eyes painted all over his armour, including up the banner pole with that leering skull. A pair of early Space Marine Metal Dreadnought conversions here. I have to admit I really like Ritz there on the right with that rotary style weapon. Is that an early assault cannon conversion? Amusingly, the magazine for this weapon reminds me of a sponge fish tank filter. One of the early, early Eldar Wraith Lords or Dreadnoughts or War Robots up next. There always were a few different names for these and I can never remember which one was which. He also has the accompanying little spirit drone beside him. I think these were the early Wraith Guard. The flowers painted along the armour plates of this Dreadnought are absolutely wonderful. Another miniature I don't recognise now, and it appears to be a character who has removed a mask to show his real face, which appears to be almost reptilian. An orc up next with a heavy plasma gun. This one has a lot of different patterns painted about him. A couple of squats up next, and one has a small conversion where he has added a small aerial to the top of his communications device. It almost looks like he might have even used a little wooden tack or something. Those little numbers are rather finely detailed and must have been very difficult to paint. A huge gang of Eldar now standing on top of what looks to be a ruined tank turret. I don't know if these Eldar are all from the same warband or craft world as they all seem to have different colour schemes going on with their armour. I do like the sort of bronzy gold ones on the right hand side there. Again in the middle is the exact same Eldar warrior we saw in a previous picture, however this one has been painted a little more purple. Again I still don't know what weapon that is. So that was some of the old hammer work of Paul Benson. What did you think of that? Which was your favourite featured miniature? Did you ever enter Golden Demon with one of your painted miniatures? Let us know in the comments below. Got an itchy ear. I really did like Paul Benson's work and I really would like to see some more of it in the future at some point. If you want to see some more old hammer themed painting videos, and I know you do, then check out the playlist up here somewhere. As always, thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels.